yo, welcome back to Snack and React. My name is Devin. <laughs> My name is Stephanie. <laughs> welcome back to our channel, y'all. <laughs> so today we're about to check out a movie called Fargo. Fargo. Okay, I have never seen this movie. I haven't either. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. I don't even know who's it. It's pretty in it. old. Okay, okay. Is it, a, like a, is it a classic or is it just like a... I think it's, yeah, I think it won, like, I think it's a classic. It won a lot of Academy Awards, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully something that I like. If not, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I assume it's... It don't I think we'll hear all about it then. It don't, it don't sound like action, does it? Is, is it Fargo? action? Fargo? I, I honestly don't I guess know you don't know. Action okay. Not, okay, so. okay. Well, was it a recommendation? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess we will all be seeing Fargo for the first time at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I hope maybe you guys have seen it before. Yeah. I hope so. If you guys are new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Okay. Also, you know, check out the links in the description for our Patreon. You ready, babe? I'm ready, babe. <laughs> Let's get to it. Ooh, true story. I like true stories. Yeah, even even if they're not a true story, the fact that you say true story <laughs> gives you a different punch. Isn't a true story if it's not a true story? I mean, no, people, I'm sure they'd be lying. I'm sure they'd be lying when they just. <laughs> Some are like just based on actual based on events true. instead of like a true story. But when they say true story, your head, I know I think like, oh, this Every is a true story. Detail. Oh, yeah. Somebody went through this. Well, let's believe that it's a true story mm. and they're telling the truth. Okay. I've heard about the uh, the winners in Minnesota, but I could not. No, I couldn't either. Jesus. Man. I feel like we have it rough in the Midwest, and it's well like nothing compared yeah, to Minnesota. To yeah. Minnesota. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder if their winter starts early in Minnesota. I assume. Yeah, I don't know if it just gets colder earlier. Or what? Is it being pushed? Man, I'm cold just looking just look, at this. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Just, I'm pretty sure it's an Oldsmobile. Yeah, I think so. Pulling another Oldsmobile or Buick. King of Clubs. That's some drunk shit there, boy. <laughs> you guys do all the damn so just to get a drink. Yeah. I feel like places like that where it's so cold, like you have like certain bars that people go to and yeah. hang out. Jerry Lundegaard. Is it Jerry Lundegaard? Yeah. Chef Proudfoot said. Chef said you'd be here at 7.30, but you've been sitting here an hour. He's peed three times already. <laughs> Sure, sorry. Shep told me 8.30. It was a mix-up, I guess. It's out in the lot there. Brand new burnt umber here. I'm Carl Showalter. This is my associate, Gayer Grimsrud. Sure, Jerry, we're all set. Why wouldn't we be? Shep vouched for you and all. I got every confidence here in you fellas. This feels really awkward. It does. <laughs> it does. I, I guess that's it, then. Here are the keys. Oh, no, that's it's not it, Jerry. The new vehicle plus $40,000. What? I thought Shep told you. Shep didn't tell us much, Jerry. Well, okay. It's Except that you were going to be here at 7.30. Huh. Huh. But it, it's not a whole pay in advance deal. See, I give you a brand new vehicle in advance. I will say this, though. What Shep told us didn't make a whole lot of sense. You want your own wife kidnapped. Huh. What? Huh. You, my point is... He does not seem like the guy the that would get his wife kidnapped. Uh, 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 it's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. See... It's not me paying the ransom. Her dad, he's real well off. Now, I'm in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble are you in, Jerry? <sighs> See, I just need the money. <laughs> Damn! He's real well off. So, why don't you just ask him for the money? It's all part of this. They don't know I need it. See? So there's that on top. <laughs> <laughs> personal matters? Yeah, personal matters that needn't... Uh... I agree. I agree. None of your damn if business. If you're hiring someone like that, they shouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> you won't. Oh, fuck it. Let's take a look at that Sierra. I'm sure, like, you getting your cut with all the damn questions. Hon? Oh, it's Fargo. Dad's here. 
<laughs> That's stressful. Uh -huh. Engineer. Go for it. Who they playing? <laughs> oh yeah, hockey is a big thing. She stand for supper. Minnesota. Dad? What? Are you staying for supper? Yeah. And they close too. You would think that he would try to do that shit. Yeah. I'm going out. Where are you going? You just ate. You didn't finish. Going to McDonald's instead of finishing here. What do you think they do there? <laughs> they don't drink milkshakes, I assure you. Wade, have you had a chance to think about that deal I was talking about, those 40 acres there in Wyzetta? I understand it's a lot of money. It's a heck of a lot. A lot. It's a, a limited... No, it's a lot. <laughs> ah, well, 750,000 is a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a couple think... lots, late 50s, lost a lot of money. He passes on this stuff before it gets kicked up to me. Well, this could work out real good for me and Gene and Scotty. <laughs> Gene and Scotty never have to worry. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, got you, brother. Where is Pancake's house? We stop at Pancake's house. What are you nuts? We have pancakes for breakfast. I gotta go to a place where I can get a shot and a beer. <laughs> and pancakes? Come on. Oh, come on, man. Okay, here's an idea. Stop outside of Brainerd. I know a place there we can get laid. I'm fucking hungry now, you know. <laughs> stop, get pancakes, and then we'll get laid, all right? That boy, hair is whack. Yeah. He went all the way blind. Oh, he must want to open up a car lot. We sat right here in this room and went over this and over this. Yeah, but I'm saying that true code, you don't get it. You get oxidation problems. You're talking in circles. You're talking <laughs> a deal here for 19.5. Are these options without the ceiling for 19.5? <sighs> not saying I didn't. You Typical call car salesman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time and my wife's time. Mm -mm. Buy for this vehicle here. All right, I'll talk to my boss. <laughs> Oh, I hate that. What, the car salesman shit? Yeah. Talk to my boss? Code at the factory. There's nothing we can do. But I'll, I'll talk to my boss. Guys, hear me. <laughs> it's always the same. <laughs> it's always more. Trying to get over on you. You going to the Gophers on Sunday? <laughs> He's not even going to talk about it. Hell no, he's going to talk about it. <laughs> never done this before. Seeing <laughs> as it's special circumstances and all, he says I can knock $100 off that true coat. He <laughs> <laughs> said. <laughs> Fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my goddamn checkbook? Let's get this over with. And he got it. <laughs> <laughs> look, he ain't look down. Like, no. Look up at him. He know he full of shit. Paul Bunyan. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they're getting laid. I wonder if they got their pancakes. The hotel look dirty as hell. I don't think they care about that. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about your potential. See, student. Yeah. These kids, boy. See, grade, very there that concerns your dad and me. Uh-huh. I'm gonna smack him back his head. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Okay, well, that's why we, we don't want you going out for hockey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, now he got his attention. Oh, uh -huh. big deal. It's just an hour of... Look, got his attention now, huh? Oh, hi, Jan. Oh, hi, Dad. Jury around. Yeah, hi. That accent just cracks me yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. It's Dad. It's Dad. There's no fucking way that... Uh, <gasps> let's watch that language thing. Uh, nothing, Wade. How you doing there? He get smacked in the mouth. No kidding. Might be interesting. No kidding. Uh, I, I need the cash pretty quick there. Pretty sweet. Yeah, you know, gross ones. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Well, okay. Ooh, we. Oh, we. I don't know. Is that why he is going to have her kidnapped? Or is yep, it something that's why. else? That's why. Because he wants some money. And he didn't think the dad would do nope. it? Nope. He said he wouldn't do it. The fellow she put me in touch with up there in Fargo. Oh. That's with Grimsrud. Yeah, well, Who, he wait. had a buddy there. He, uh... Never had a vouch for him. Well, that's okay. I vouch for Grimsrud. Never heard of him. Don't vouch for him. <laughs> uh, see this deal I needed him for? Something's happening, see? Call him up. Yep. Who, we? And I haven't been able to get him, so I thought maybe... Not he... good! At all. Oh, what happened? Nope. Okay, well, look at that. Holy, brother. He jumped the gun. Jumped the gun. He should just act him anyway. Yeah. Then when they said no, then considered. <laughs> considered. Considered have your wife kidnapped? I mean, he could do it any damn way, so at least, you know, try. <laughs> 
Oh, he the crazy ass. Secondhand smoke is the uh, carcin the you know, cancer rate. Hey, look at that, Twin Cities. The IDS building, the big glass one. The tallest skyscraper in the Midwest after the uh, John Hancock building, whatever. Oh, he stole a coffee. You never been to Minneapolis? From his dealership. That's nope. a fountain of conversation, man. That's a geyser. That'd be hard to go on a road trip with someone that doesn't back, talk. Mm-hmm. In some ways, it might be nice. <laughs> doing all the driving, man. Whole fucking way from Brainerd, driving, just trying to keep our spirits up, fight the boredom of the road. You can't say one fucking thing just from the... <laughs> Oh, well, fuck this, it. I don't have to cigarette you, barely hanging onto his lip. See how you like it. Total fucking silence. <laughs> you can play at that game, smart guy. <laughs> he cannot stay quiet. He can't. He can't. Mr. Lundegaard, this is Riley Diefenbach from GMAC. How are you this morning? Real good. How you doing? Pretty darn busy here, but that's the way we like it. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Now, he said, us, I can't read the serial numbers of the vehicle. Yeah, but I, I already got the... It's okay. The loans are in uh, place. Fun. Yeah, so we're all set then. Yeah, but the vehicles that you're borrowing on, I... I can't read the serial number on your application. We have an audit here. I just have to know that these vehicles you're financing. He's scamming. Woo! Yes. Yeah, well, they exist, all right. I don't have them in front of me. Why don't I just fax you over a copy? No, no, well, no fax is no good. That's what I have, and I... Oh, wait. Okay, because if I can't correlate this note with the specific vehicles, then I gotta call back that money. Let it yeah, okay, no problem. I'll just fax that right over no, no, to no, you. No, 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 fax it. I mean, send it over. I'll shoot it right over okay. to you then. <laughs> yeah, brother, he's scamming. Not nah, real good. He's scamming. We're back. So that's probably why. Because he's full of shit. His whole plan. Mm -hmm. Crap. All of our viewers at home that this March, for the second year in a row, Katie and I, along with Twin City Travel, all of you to come with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, for those of you who just joined us, Katie she looked gullible. <laughs> Holidazzle eggs ourselves at home. No, it's an empty egg. Look at him. He. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is he for real? How do you. I mean, you don't have a. Is he <laughs> for real? Empty egg. No, no, I guarantee this is a. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what does she think? I need unguent. Close the door and lock the door. Look, they could just unplug the damn phone though. <laughs> yeah. Because the cart goes out there. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Do that before cordless. <laughs> or cell phones too. <laughs> you gone, baby girl. Oh. They got you. They horrible. They stay sorry. <laughs> they so sorry. It's ridiculous. Oh, she's already gone. He looking for medication. The boy knows he's strange. He's strange. Oh shit! <laughs> Are you watching her? <laughs> she can't see nothing. Oh, you crazy oh, ass lady. Oh. You crazy ass lady. <laughs> she knocked her own self out. Yeah, she sure did. Are you wow. How you doing, Wade? Good to see you again, Jerry. I keep thinking he's saying weed. Mm -hmm. He's saying Wade. Oh, those numbers are right, all right. Believe me. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Well, it's a pretty... What uh... kind of finder's fee are you looking for? Huh. <laughs> the only thing we don't know is your fee. Huh. Wade, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah? We're good to load in. We, we don't want you. But we never talked about your fee for bringing it to us. Who? We? Jerry, we thought you were bringing us an investment. Yeah, right. You're saying, what are you saying? <laughs> All the money and you collect when it pays off. Who we? Can I? You sound no, crazy. No, no, I, 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 I... I'd pay you back the principal and interest. We're not a bank, Jerry. If I wanted bank interest on seven hundred fifty thousand, I'd go to Midwest Federal. No, no. But see, I. <laughs> oh no. I need a, a finder. Oh wait. I need the principal. Well, Jerry, we're not going to just give you seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Who we? If I'm only getting bank interest, I want complete security. Heck, FDIC. I. I... Mm -hmm. He didn't think this through. No. I I guarantee you your money back. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck are you? We're not a bank, Jerry. Well, look. Poor guy he doesn't get it. Loop, if this here's a good deal. Mm -hmm. What? They gonna take it? If you're not interested, you won't mind if we move on it. Oh, we. For to take his deal. Jeez. 
Jerry the dumbass. <laughs> Jerry the dumbass. <laughs> you brung him a deal to make money on. You ain't gonna get a damn dime but a small finder's fee. And then you expect him to just give you the money for free? You c- Yeah, goosebumps. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Hun, got the groceries. He's rehearsing, I think. Oh. Wade, I, it's Jerry. I, Wade, it's Jerry. I, we gotta talk. It's something hard, jeez. <laughs> You're not a good actor, dude. At all, at all. I mean, he really is. What? I mean, but shoot. Like, he, gotta, he gotta sound. Jerry's not a yeah, good actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wade Gustafson, please. Oh, look, he don't sound historical enough for me. No. At all. Your wife missing, brother. Onion. That's the down the downy dude? Huh? Is that the downy dude? It's like the <laughs> I don't know. If... <laughs> the guy from the uh the uh... no that's not him? It's not the downy guy? The bounty? Bounty. I say bounty. <laughs> bounty. Is that him? I mean that's not the no, is that Paul Bunyan? Fuck up! Or I'll throw you back into the trunk, you know. Jesus Martin, I've heard you say all week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now what? Shit. Already there. I can pull over. <sighs> oh, the tags. All right, it's just the tags. He's saying real relaxed have kidnapped somebody, don't he? I know. <laughs> and getting pulled over? Yeah, he's saying real relaxed. There it is. Yeah, what's she going to do? I don't know. All right, just, just keep it still back there, lady, or else we're going to have to shoot you. <laughs> he ain't no killer. He, he may be, be, though. Yeah. Hey, I'll take care of this. <laughs> Here we go. How can I help you, officer? Looks suspicious. Yeah, I know. I was going to say he looks guilty. This a new car then, sir? Oh, it certainly is, officer. Still got that smell. Tags. Either in the plate area or taped to the inside of the back window. Certainly. Yeah, I was uh, going to tape up those uh, the tag. Must have... Uh, must have slipped my mind. Maybe the best thing to do would be to take care of that. Oh, fifty. <laughs> my license and registration. Yeah, I want to be in compliance. Hmm. I was just thinking we could take care of it right here. You done? Put that back in your pocket, please. Step out of the car, please, sir. You're done. Dumbass. You're done. Try the bomb a police officer, brother. Oh my God. <laughs> Dang. Who we? Who? Who we? Shot that boy on top of his head. On top of his head. Oh. Well, we know who the real killer is, don't we? Yeah, he ain't playing. He bought eight blood. Whoa, daddy. Whoa, daddy. You'll take care of it. <laughs> you are a smooth, smooth, you know. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Just clear him off the road. Yeah. Well, we see who was in charge. Yeah. Ooh, this movie went from funny to holy shit. (laughs) (laughs) Quick. Real quick, boy. You know something? I don't see him letting old girl go. Yeah. Is he a... Ooh, wait. Here's a whole other problem here. Ooh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (gasps) <gasps> oh my god He gonna kill them now Oh my gosh No witnesses huh No and I mean Back then they didn't have cell phones So if he yeah. kills them now Either that car slow as hell Or that car fast That was smart you d- <gasps> Oh my gosh. How the f- What the hell happened? Oh, it's icy. Oh, it turned over, huh? Yeah? Mm, mm. Y'all did, dog. 
Poor kids. Poor kids. Yep, yep, yep. He asked for the wrong help, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, who's this? Is that her? Mm -mm. No. Hi, it's March. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, there, not Jeff. Uh, okay. You can sleep. It's early yet. Gotta go. Fix you some eggs. It's okay, hon. I gotta run. You gotta eat a breakfast, Marge. Oh, hon, you can sleep. You gotta eat a breakfast. <laughs> oh. That do sound gross. Uh, <laughs> some eggs. Time, time to shove off. She did. She got a little wobble though, don't she? She looks pregnant. Yeah. How the hell leave, man? Well, no, I was dark and had black eyes, so. Yeah. Hi, Yolo. Woo! What you got there? Thought you might need a little warm up. Thanks a bunch. Well, homicide? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Two of them are over here. It's cold, Margie. Oh <gasps> gosh. <laughs> like you falling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, jeez. Here's the second one. The head and the hand there. I guess that's a defensive wound. Oh, yeah. Back there, a good piece in the ditch next to his prowler. So we got a trooper pull someone over. We got a shooting. These folks drive by. I'd be very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd. Yeah. From his footprint, he looks like a big fella. See something down there, Chief? No, I just think I'm gonna barf. You okay, Margie? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just morning sickness. Well, that passed. <laughs> <laughs> you have breakfast yet, Margie? Or made some eggs. Yeah? What now do you think? Let's go take a look at that trooper. There's different footprints here, little guy smaller than his buddy. Oh, yeah? Well, he's got his gun on his hip there, and he looks like a nice enough guy. Didn't monkey with his car there, did you? No way. I guess the little guy sat in there waiting for his buddy to come back. Yeah, it would have been cold out here. Heck yeah. You don't think he's mixed up in there? Oh, no, no. I just want to get Norm some night crawlers. Did you look in his citation book? Yeah. Last vehicle he rode in was a tan Sierra. I figured they stopped him or shot him before he could finish filling out the tag number. I think that vehicle there probably had mm. dealer plates. Who we? DLR. Oh. She ain't, she ain't done with all, boy. No. She a good detective. A good cop. Do you hear the one about the guy couldn't afford personalized plates, so he went and changed his name to J3L? Yeah, that's a good one. Mm. <laughs> I know is you got a problem you call a professional. They were darn clear on that. Hmm. All your cops and we're gonna. Yeah, shoot of course they're gonna say that. Mm -hmm. Where's my guarantee they're gonna let her go? Well, they million dollars a lot of damn money. You give them what they want. Why won't they let her go? You you gotta listen to me on this one, Wade. I'm saying the cops. They can advise us on this. I'm saying call a professional. No, no cops. That doesn't look shady at all that he just asked for $750,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now he was going a million. Uh-huh. I got to tell you, Wade, I'm leaning to Jerry's viewpoint here. But we got to protect Gene. These, we're not holding any cards here, Wade. Yeah, and I'm thinking we should offer him a half a million. Now come on here. Look at him. Yeah. We got to just bite the bullet on this thing. Yeah. Oh, he just. I'm supposed to have the money ready tomorrow. Damn it. How was everything today? Yeah, real good now. He seemed too calm, don't he? Oh, yeah, your wife just got kidnapped. He's seen real calm. Now, we'll get the money together. Don't worry about it, Jerry. No, I, they don't want, they were just supposed to be dealing with me. They're real clear. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they said no one listened. Like you said, Stan, they're calling the shots. And now, is, uh, is Scotty going to be all right? Yeah, geez, Scotty. He didn't think about his damn son. I'll go talk to him. He didn't think about him because he didn't, because he did it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. How you doing there, Scotty? Just a smile. What do you think they're doing with Mom? It's okay, Scotty. They're not gonna want to hurt her any. Well, what if something goes wrong, Dad? No, then... no, no. We're making sure this gets handled right. I really think we should call the cops here. No one can know about this thing. Hmm. 
play ball with these guys. Yes, Stan Grossman, <laughs> we're gonna get Mom back for you, but we gotta play ball. <sighs> so if, if Lorraine calls, or Sylvia, <sighs> you just say Mom's down in Florida with Pearl and Marty. That's the best we can do here. That's that salesman face you got on right yeah. now. <laughs> So, even if he do get the million dollars, it won't look fishy that he came out with all that damn money to get the down payment for his lot. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he has a lot? Yeah, all of a sudden. <laughs> what about the other the invoices that he owes, too? She always showed so damn tree. This gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Janie, two more of those skins will stop, please. Are you, hon? I brought you some lunch, Margie. Hmm. What are those, night crawlers? Yeah. Night crawlers. You bet. Thanks for lunch. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What the hell? Fishing, yeah. I guess. Arby's? I'm hoping it's not his lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Found out the Hauptmans are entering a painting this year. Oh, hon, you're better than them. They're good, Norm, but you're better than them. You think so? You got Arby's all over me. They're so cute. <laughs> hey, yeah, Norm. How's the painting going? But uh, the night before, two men checked into the Blue Ox registering a Sierra. Blue Ox, that's that trucker's joint out there on I-35? Yeah. Said these two had company. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Their accent is funny. I know, it is funny. I went to Normandale for about a year and a half. Yeah, that's where we met. So where are your girls from? Chaska. Lesueur. But I went to high school in White Bear Lake. Okay. <laughs> Well, the little guy, he was kind of funny looking. In what way? I don't know, just funny looking. <laughs> I couldn't really say. He wasn't circumcised. Wow. <laughs> was he funny looking apart from that? <laughs> <laughs> you were having sex with a little fella then? Uh-huh. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about him? No. Like I say, he was funny looking. Wow. What about the other fella? He was a little older. You know, he looked like the Marlboro Man. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, they said they were going to the Twin Cities. Yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha, yeah. You betcha. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. God, damn it, nothing to do. TV doesn't even... <laughs> damn it, come on, plug me in, man. Give me a fucking... This guy, like, what is he yeah, thinking? Yeah, he just zoned out. God damn it, leave him. Come on. Fuck. He watching him watch TV. He, he the TV. Boa. The bark beetle carries the worm to it, <laughs> where it will feed its young for up to six months. In the spring, the larvae hatch and the cycle begins again. Well, here it is throwing off. <laughs> yeah, it is Marge. Yeah, yeah. Who's this? This is Mike Yanagita. Mm. Mike Yanagita? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't remember you. It's a quarter to eleven. Huh? That's okay. Yeah, I, I'm down in the Twin Cities. Uh, I saw you on the news there. Yeah. I thought that I can't believe it. What the hell are you calling for? Me. Well, how the heck are you? Dude, brother. Okay, you know. What is this about? Oh, heck. What, what the hell you want, bro? It's been such a long time, Mike. It's great to hear from you. What the fuck you want? Call my house at 11 o'clock at night. Independent, uh, your uh, front wheel drive, rack and pinion steering, and I can give it to you with a heck of a sealant. It'll keep this off. Yeah, I don't need no sealant, though. <clears throat> you ought to be aware of this GMAC plan they have now. It's really super. Call for you, Jerry. Yeah, okay. Jerry Lundegaard. All right, Jerry, you got the phone to yourself? Well, yeah, I got an idea. How's that Sierra working out for you? What do you mean? Things have changed. Circumstances, Jerry, beyond the... Uh, Acts of God, force hmm. majeure. What the? How's Gene? Who's Gene? Who? Oh. What the? It's all right, but there's three people have been brainer who aren't. Let's just finish this deal up here. Blood has been shed, Jerry. What the heck do you mean? That's right, and we need more money. Mm, mm, mm. We need more This was money. supposed to be a no rough stuff type. Jerry, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just, I don't. I'm not going to debate you, Jerry. I'm not going to debate. Mm, mm, mm. The entire 80,000. Oh, for. Oh, we. We've been cutting risks, Jerry. I'm coming to town tomorrow. You have the money ready. A deal's a deal. Unless those three poor souls up in Brainerd if a deal's a deal. Go ahead, ask them. Mm, mm, mm. 
Yeah, yeah. This is Riley Diefenbach at GMAC. Uh -oh. oh, oh, wait. Yeah, I, those are in the mail. That's very well may be. I must inform you, however, that after this matter to our legal department is at an end. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, buddy. Everything go down the drain. <laughs> What's she eat? Yeah. Hi, Norm. She's eating for two. Mm hmm. How's the fricassee? You're darn good. You want some? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I got. Hey, Norm. I thought she was going ice fishing up at Malax. What you got there? That's just their lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Calls made from the lobby payphone. I wouldn't be able to go back to work after mm. eating all that. First one's a trucking company, and second one's a private residence. Uh, Shep Proudfoot. Shep Proudfoot. That's a name. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll take a drive down there then. Oh, yeah? Twin Cities. Oh, yeah? Who the hell is it? Oh, that's, that's the dude. It. Damn it, I want to be a part of this thing. Wade, they were real clear. They said they'd call tomorrow with instructions, and what do they care? Wade's got a point. Hey, right. All if you want, Jerry. No, no. See, they no. See, they only deal with me. <laughs> Feel this this nervousness on the phone there. I'm surprised they don't. They they catch it on. Suspicious at all. Yeah. I don't want yep. you. All due respect, Jerry. I don't want you mucking this up. Deal with me, otherwise I'm going to a professional. I agree. Million dollars here. No. See, I agree. It's my damn money. Tell me a damn car. That's it. I agree. It's the way we'd prefer to handle. It. Yeah, Jerry doesn't agree because he's scamming us. Yep. 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 Uh huh. Hi. Like, dude, like, shit. No, it ain't my. It ain't your money. All you should care about is getting your wife back. Yeah. Yep, you sure do, Mrs. Gunderson. Hey, is there a phone down here? You think? Detective Seibert. Yeah, this is Marge Gunderson from my brain. Or we spoke. I had to do a few things in the Twin Cities, so I thought I'd check in with you about that USFI search on Ship Proudfoot. Well, maybe I'll go visit with him if I have the. No, I can find that. Would you happen to know a good place for lunch in the downtown area? <laughs> that girl knows she love eating, boy. <laughs> oh yeah, is it reasonable? Hey, I can't blame her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pregnant and hungry. If the wife ain't thought in shit, I won't give him nothing. Mm -mm. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I decided not to park here. But, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I decided not to. Uh, I. Uh, well, I'm sorry, sir. We still got to charge you the four dollars. I just pulled in here. So? See, there's there's a minimum charge of four dollars. Four dollars, pay it. Do <laughs> you think you're, uh, you know, like an authority figure? That stupid fucking uniform up. <laughs> Fontai there, big fucking man, huh? <laughs> you know, these are the limits of your life, man. <laughs> fucking gay here, here. There's your four dollars, you pathetic piece of shit. <laughs> Talking to a cop. That's it was a cop. Yep. Hooey. So do you remember getting a call Wednesday night? You do reside there at 1425 Fremont Terrace. No. Well, Mr. Proudfoot, this call came in past three in the morning. Now, I know you've had some problems. He like you lying. Mm-hmm. Once she, once she swallowed, it was a wrap. So? Well, associating with criminals, if you're the one they talk to, that right there would be a violation of... Now, I saw some rough stuff on your priors, but nothing in the nature of a homicide. So, you think you might remember who those folks were who called you? Who? Huh? Yeah. Could I take just a minute of your time here? What is it all about? You're the owner here, Mr. Lundegaard? Nah, I... Executive... Boy, she doing some police work, ain't she? My name's Marge Gunderson. My father-in-law. He's the owner. Well, I'm a police officer from Up Brainerd, investigating some malfeasance info stolen off the lot in the past couple of weeks, specifically at Tancala Sierra. <laughs> That's not hard to remember, right? Brainerd? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Home of Paul Bunyan, Babe the Blue Ox. Huh. Babe the Blue Ox. <laughs> Should I do salesman tech on <laughs> Yeah. Go up there. <laughs> Brother, she got you. You haven't had any vehicles go missing then? Nope. Okie dokie, thanks a bunch. I'll let you get back to your paperwork then. <laughs> Ooh -wee. It's all on his face. Yeah, he's not a good liar. At all. Yeah, uh, give me Chef. Back to you, me. Where did he go? It's only... No, I, I, I don't need a mechanic. I, I need a... Uh, I, I gotta talk to a, a, a friend of his. <laughs> Have him... Um... Oh, jeez. So I, I guess he can't talk to a friend without Chip, whatever his name is. 
Well, that's how he got the kidnappers. Yeah. Mart? What the fuck going on here? Jeez. Oh, you look great. There, easy. easy. He looking hard, real fucking hard, ain't he? Mm-hmm. Expecting oh, you. Oh, I, I see that. that. That's great. Oh, this is a nice place. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a Radisson, so it, it's pretty good. <laughs> so. What you want? Living in a diner, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of years now. Uh, it's actually Eden Prairie. So, you went and married Narm, son of a Gunderson. Oh, yeah, a long <laughs> time ago. Great. Hey. What brings you down? Uh, are you down here on that hunt? Yeah, but there's not a heck of a lot to discuss. Well, what about you, Mike? Are you married? You got kids? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you mind if I sit over here? What the uh, fuck? I was married to Cooksey. No, why don't you sit over there? I prefer that. Yeah. Dude, what the hell going on here? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, no, no, just so I can see. I don't have to turn my neck. I, I understand. Oh, that's fine. No, it's not fine. What the fuck you want? So, uh, I was married to Linda Cooksey. You, you remember Linda. She was a year behind us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, conversation over. Uh, and, and, then I, and, and then I've been uh, working. Yeah, she. Years now. She wants to be done with this. You're an engineer. Yeah. What is this about? I have no idea. It, it's nothing like you're, you're a team. Sounds like you're doing really super. It, it's not that, uh, it's not that things didn't work out. It's, uh, Linda, uh, had leukemia. She, she passed away. No. It was tough. Uh, was long. Uh, she fought real hard, Martin. Uh, what, what can you say? Oh, better times, huh? Better times. Still, you trying to sit fucking next to her and shit. Yeah, on the TV, and uh, I always liked you. Oh, uh, here we go. I always liked you so much. Here we go. Here we go. So, Mike, uh, should we get to No, I, I. Just leave. You gonna cry? What do you think, cry? See, you know, I shouldn't have done this. So I should. What the fuck wrong with him? Time. It's okay, Mike. You were such a super lady. I've been so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you feel sorry for him? I don't know what to feel about that scene. That fucking creep old. Like <laughs> shit, go start over. Don't call nobody that you know married and pregnant and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, that's weird. Thing will be all right so, are you from around here? Just in town on business. Just a little of the old in and out. She looks strange. Yeah. Uh, I, um, you been to the celebrity room before? With other, uh... Nice. Yeah, well, depends on the artist. Wait. Her face. Mm. Death? So, uh, how long you work for the escort service? Mm. I don't know, a few months. Find that work interesting, do you? What are you talking about? All right. Come on. <laughs> bills. Come on. What'd she say? Climb your bills. All right. I think, I don't know what she's done. Huh? <gasps> Banging that girl. Oh. What the hell? <gasps> Damn. Hey, uh, come on back and oh, shoot. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Ah. Come on, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> he ain't no chump. Oh. <gasps> Damn! What, don't you dare he finna whip his ass? Oh, he finna choke oh. him. Oh, shit. Fuck you, Dang. So you sent the cops after me and you done all this crazy shit. Fucking shit. Huh? He beat his ass. Hey, I'm through fucking around. You got the fucking money? Yeah, I got the money. Ooh, wait. Um, hey, you're there in 30 minutes or I find you, Jerry, and I shoot you and I shoot your fucking head. You got it? Okay, now you stay away from Scotty now. Got it! Mm, mm, mm. So now, they're gonna get more money than they bargained for. Yeah. Where are you going? I I'll be back in a minute. If Stan calls... Here's your damn money. But then how is he gonna get the money? Yeah, goddamn. Oh shit. <laughs> Daddy ain't no chump. Daddy ain't no chump. How's Jerry gonna get the money though? He ain't gonna get a damn dime. I know. How does he think he's gonna get it? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I got your damn money. Now where's my daughter? 
Who we? Move fucking around. Drop that fucking briefcase. Fuck that. My daughter. Fuck you, man. Where's Jerry? I gave simple fucking instructions. Drop that fucking money. No, Gene. No money. Is this a fucking joke here? <gasps> oh, we. Oh, we. You now, asshole. You fucking imbeciles. Oh, we. Shoot him again. Bust his ass again. Bust his ass again, Grandpa. Come on. He ain't done. Oh my god. Shit. Yeah, you can't just shoot him once. Oh man. That was his freaking jaw. He shot him one time. Mm, mm, mm. This is a mess. A whole mess. And not a damn dad did. He shot his ass one time. So now the dad dead, money gone, wife gone. And who knows what this what Jerry's gonna do? Oh shit. Uh uh uh. Hey, that's some shit, boy. May I have your ticket, please? Boom. Fucking dead! <laughs> Goddamn, Grandpa. You should have just pulled your shit out early. That's what he should have done. He should have shot him more than once, is what he should have done. He should have shot his ass the first time. At first, good shit. Nothing to negotiate with you. And you ain't got my daughter? What? What the hell going is on he here? Is he gonna put him in the trunk? What the fuck is... No, he not. No, he not. He killed him? Oh my god. He didn't kill the innocent guy. He has his father-in-law in the trunk. And went home. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then drove home. Dad? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What? Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Look, and wife still ain't home. Why he going to bed? Wow. What are you doing? Just tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Right oh. Well, I saw him tending bar down there at Eklund and Swedland's last Tuesday, and he's out there at the lake. And I says, what kind of action, that kind of thing? And he says, but I'm going crazy out there, kind of place. Uh-huh. Mm. He says, oh, so I... I understand. Then he calls me a jerk, says the last guy thought he... So, I don't see mm. nothing. He says, what do you think about that? Sound like too good a deal for him, then. <laughs> <laughs> he says, yeah, that guy's dead, and I don't mean of old age. And then he's... White Bear Lake? Yeah, well, at Eklund and Swedland, that's closer to Moose Lake. Looking at the bar, so I don't think a whole great deal of it. But then Mrs. So, I called it in. End of story. <laughs> well, what does this guy look like, anyways? Oh, he's a little guy, kind of funny looking. Uh <laughs> oh, my God. In a general kind of way. No, that's all anyone can describe yeah. him as. But thanks for calling her in. Sure. <laughs> Got a front coming in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One million dollars. With tape, huh? Oh, what is it? Is that tape? No, I don't know what that was. Oh, took out a little bit of extra for himself. I won't be surprised if Odoo kill him now. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, he probably took out the money that he this way they supposed to get, and they gonna hide the rest of it. Took out the eighty grand. Got it. Okay. You gonna forget? Yeah, how you gonna, how you gonna find that? It all looks the same. Yep. Back 
up to Brainerd. Well, I'm sorry, I won't. And we don't even know if the wife's still alive. Yeah, yeah, we don't. No, we don't. Specifically, sadly mm. hard. His wife Diane. What? Oh, no, no, they were. He, he was bothering. He wouldn't leave her alone. What? So. He lied. They never. No. Hey, boy, creep, creep. Oh my gosh. He, Wow. Linda's fine. You should call her. That boy, a scam what is. Yeah, something. What is he? I wonder what he's doing. That's a surprise. Hmm? Well, he's an architect and everything, huh? Hello? She's mm -hmm. always eating. She's making me hungry at all this food yeah, she's eating. Yeah, turn the food up, boy. <laughs> that she is. Oh boy. How is he at work? He ain't got his wife back or nothing. Mr. Lundegaard, sorry to bother you again. Can I come in? Yeah, no, I'm kind of. I'm on my way out of town, but I was wondering. Do you mind if I sit down? <laughs> no. I... Yeah, it's just, I was just wondering. Yeah, like hmm. I told you, we haven't had any vehicles go missing. Are you sure? crime I'm investigating. The perpetrators were driving a car with dealer plate, and mm -hmm. they called someone who works here. Mm -hmm. Quite a coincidence if they weren't. <laughs> so, how do you... The car's not from our lot, ma'am. But how do you know that for sure without doing a... Inventory. I'm the executive sales manager. I know, but... Well, how do they establish that, sir? Ma'am, I answered your question. Who? We guilty. You real aggressive. Ma'am, I answered your question. I answered the darn... I'm cooperating here. There's no... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, brother, you blew it. You have no call to get snippy with me. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I, I'm not arguing here. Uh, sounds like you are. Yeah, buddy. Doing all we can. She got your ass, brother. Sir, could I talk to Mr. Gustafson? Huh. Mr. Lundegaard. Well, heck, if you wanna, if you wanna play games here, I'm working with you on this thing here. But, sir, right now? Yeah, right now. Important to you. I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, what the crap. <clears throat> go snooping. You finna go snooping? <sighs> oh, for Pete's sake. Who was that? Oh, he drove off? He's fleeing the interview. He's fleeing the interview. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Cyber, please. Mm -mm. Very clear. Oh, you did. You made yourself perfect. Well, it's something kind of small, but it might be. I'm pregnant. He all into that show. <laughs> and there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna have your baby. Huh? Should see the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to her? Uh, she started shrieking it. Well, I got the money. All eighty grand. That's forty for you. Forty for me. That's it then. You could have my truck. We split that. How the fuck do you split a fucking car, you dummy? <laughs> Pays the other for half. Hold on. What? Fucking notice this. I got fucking shot. I went and got the fucking money. I got shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm taking that fucking car. That fuck is mine. <laughs> Are we square? Are we square? He ain't worried about you, brother. Fucking mute. <laughs> what about the wife? Yeah, I know. I guess no one really cares. Fucking ass. They got their money. For the blast his ass. <gasps> oh, shit! Shit! Oh, shit! Did that come in? Whoa. Whoa. And this guy was who? Gustafson's a... Whoa. But we still haven't found Gustafson? What a fucking ex. I didn't copy Lou. And Linda guy too? Yeah, the loud mouth. Hmm. So the whole state has it, huh? Yeah, it's over the wire. It's everywhere. They'll find them. There's a car! There's a car! Whose car? My car! My car! Okay. Don't go by yourself, lady. Don't you go by your damn self. Ma'am. <sighs> what you think she finna do? What she think she doing? Mm -mm. That was stupid. Yeah. That was real dumb, ma'am. 
And this dude, her crazy. Super crazy. I mean, where's, isn't he in the yard? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. He's chipping him up. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, wow. Oh. oh my God. <gasps> oh. He didn't cut his ass. Oh my God. Shoot him. Shoot him. Ma'am. She better be careful. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so that was Mrs. Lundegaard on the floor in there. Hmm. And I guess that was your accomplice and the wood chipper. And those three people in Brainerd. Hmm. Wow. And for what? For a little bit of money. There's more to life than a little money, you know. Don't you know that? And here you are. And it's a beautiful day. Mm -mm. I just don't understand it. Put that boy in a chipper. That was so nasty. Mr. Anderson? Are you done? Mr. Anderson, is this your Burgundy 98 out here? Just a sec. Could you open the door, please? Yeah, yeah. Just what the fuck he thought? Just a sec. Oh, he ran out? He ran away? No. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to run. <laughs> you stupid ass dude. <laughs> All because of him. Money. They announced it. You announced it? Yeah. So? Three cent stamp. You're Mallard? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. It's just the three cent. People don't much use the three cent. Whenever they raise the postage, people need the little stamps. When they're stuck with a bunch of the old ones. Hmm. I guess. It's terrific. I'm so proud of you, Norm. Heck, Norm, you know we're doing pretty good. Hmm. I love you, Margie. I love you, Norm. Glad to make you love somebody for real saying shit like that every day. In months. <laughs> yeah. He didn't ransom his damn wife. This was good, her boy. It was good. You it know. Was, it was different than what we've normally been watching. Yeah, yeah. You know some after all of that, did nobody get no money? <laughs> nobody did. Look, and them, the, uh, the million dollars is still in the dang on snow. Someone's going to find it and be happy. Yeah. He rested his damn wife. <laughs> I wonder if anyone ever found it in Fargo, if it was a real true story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless it snowed. I mean, think about it. If it's always cold, who the hell go like, you're going to be driving and see a, a red, <laughs> like, the chance of that makes yeah, no sense. Yeah, well, I mean, and obviously parts of that are just made up anyway. Yeah, because yeah. He's dead. He's the wood chipper. Damn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, boy. But, I mean, this just goes to show you that you never know. I mean, when somebody is in trouble and, and have money problems, like, nobody's safe. Yeah, you're right. The length, the length he'll go. I mean, because they seem like a good yeah. married couple. You can't trust anybody at that point. You can't. You can't, man. I feel sorry for the dad, boy. He tried to get his damn daughter back, end up losing his damn life. Yeah. To a crazy. He should have shot his ass first. Shot him first, and then once he did shoot him, like you gotta keep sh shoot to kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess he figured he oh he got shot once, he had one good shot in him. 
guess yeah, so. Yeah. But no, it was a good movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this thoroughly. I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Check out the description for our Patreon. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Peace out.